In addition to retrofitting our home, I think there's a lot of other things that one can do in an affordable manner um, to be more energy conservation. For example, we didn't even realize until we had spoken to our contractor that if we changed all of our bulbs, we could probably go down an entire kilowatt in our energy consumption. These light bulbs use a quarter of the amount of energy. They're rated to last 10 times the length of a standard incandescent bulb. They also don't dump nearly as much heat into the home, so in the summertime you're not adding more heat that you have to try and cool down from. Each one of these would end up saving you about 40 to $45 based on current electricity prices. Compact fluorescent bulbs really are a great and simple way to save energy. Look for CFLs that have earned the Energy Star label. This means they have met strict energy efficiency guidelines set by the U.S. Department of Energy. You may be considering installing new windows, insulation, or perhaps a new furnace. Before you start, consider employing the services of a qualified energy rater who can help you specify the most attractive energy remodeling opportunities. Our role is actually to help be an independent source of finding where the energy efficiency opportunities are in a home. Across the country, about 40 percent, it can be even above 50 percent, of heating and cooling costs go out the windows or go out the cracks in the form of air leakage. One of the key things we're going to do today is start off with a blower door test. This is critical because it helps us find the air leaks around the house. Air leaks are invisible problems, as you can imagine. It's like occasionally you might feel something, you know, coming from a doorway or from a window, but a lot of them are hidden. And so this lets us find those air leaks, quantify it, let you know where to make the corrections, and then about how much you'll save in making those improvements to the home. So what I'll be doing is going around and puffing this into areas where I suspect or I can feel that there's air leaks happening. One area we commonly find air leakage in a home will come from bath fans. We can take that grill down, probably some caulking around the perimeter of that will help seal that better. Believe it or not, these actually can help tighten up a home a little bit. It can be a real low cost way, helps a little bit. Homes oftentimes have problems as far as air leakages with the attic hatch. We tend to think of ductwork as, well, it's the arteries for our heating and cooling. But older homes in particular, we find a lot of time they're sucking oftentimes more air from the outside than they are recirculating the air through the home. In a typical house, about 20% of the air that moves through the duct system is lost due to leaks, holes, and poorly connected ducts. The result is higher utility bills and difficulty keeping the house comfortable no matter how the thermostat is set. Because ducts are often concealed in walls, ceiling, attics, and basements, repairing them can be difficult. But there are things you can do to improve duct performance in your house. Start by sealing air leaks using mastic sealant or metal tape and insulating all the ducts that you can access, such as those in attics, crawl spaces, unfinished basements, and garages. Never use duct tape as it is not long lasting. Also, make sure that the connections at vents and registers are well sealed where they meet the floors, walls, and ceiling. A properly qualified professional can assist with this process. There are also companies around the country that now have started coming into older homes and injecting a liquefied, heated, duct sealant into the ductwork of the home. So, like this duct is all behind drywall. How the heck are we going to get at it? You can't do it as a homeowner to seal it up. But they then could come in and inject the sealant into that. That may cost as much as a thousand dollars a system, but if, you're, if you cut your air leakage costs and your heating costs by three or four hundred dollars a year, and this is a big part of it, it can be a pretty fast payback to do that. Programmable thermostats automatically adjust your home's temperature settings, allowing you to save energy while you're away or sleeping. The return on investment is usually within a year. You can hire a qualified professional electrician or contractor to ensure proper installation. Many older homes have radiant heating systems positioned along the inside of exterior walls. This can be extremely inefficient during cold weather because heat is naturally attracted to cold air and escapes through the wall. A quick and inexpensive way to keep this heat inside is to install radiant heat reflectors. These aluminum barriers can be cut to fit neatly behind your radiator and attached to the wall with a simple adhesive. 
It needs to be at least an inch to two inches away from the heater to reflect. It should come up to the top of the furnace and just velcro it right to the wall. At Home Depot, you could pick up the material for maybe 10 to $15 per radiator. You will save that money back in less than a year and a half.